What's going on? This is Grixon. Decided to finally actually do a key today. So, we've got a 18 Grimrail Depot. We actually triple upgrade this, so plus, plus, plus 18. Yeah. Three. Zwei. Eins. Pull. Um, yeah, so figured I'd show the show how I did this, what you need to pull, what you don't. I ran this with guildies. And uh yeah. So obviously you get that guy right there on the side. And um Buddy pulled more stuff on the left for me. And yeah, so these technicians, you don't want them to grab that. Like, just stop them. If you don't stop them, they do a lot of damage. See, pretty much almost just like, just like, just took us out. Not good. Not good at all. Um, that's really it. You know, normal infl infiltrator stuff. Try and get these guys who charge. Try and make them charge to the wall or something. Not just hit your whole team. These two guys you can skip. You don't need them. So they are not needed in the count. And then this pull. Again, trying to put those chargers into the wall. It's a storming week, so it's just annoying. That's just, you know, what it do. It's just an annoying week. It's not a hard week, just an annoying one. So after this, you can pull Zolgamux through the wall, but you know, a lot of people would probably do that for lost timings, but I don't know, I just I just don't. I just do it. I just go straight to boss. But you can pull Zolgamux through the wall here before the boss if you were ever so inclined. All right, so yeah, and you could just take a hard left there and you can pull through the wall, but I don't. So this fight that the small guy is gonna be bouncing around a lot. There's really no point going to him every single time. You can kind of go to every other one. And honestly, the team should be hitting the big guy mostly because when he gets knocked down from the big guy right here, he takes increased damage. So once he does mad dash, the the small guy gets knocked down and then you just he takes a bunch of extra damage, so <clears throat> you can just take him out right there. Like that's where most of the damage can happen. I'm sitting here fiddling trying to pop a consumable. I'm still trying to get used to a uh, Opie wheel. So if you wait, he'll jump back pretty much to the same spot. So you don't really need to like mad dash run each time. You can do like every other to group him up some. But as you can see, he's dying a little too fast. So we actually have to hold off on him and just kill the big guy. Putting that, da putting that mad dash right into the guy so it knocks him off his little platform. See, so at this point we need to, uh, we need to chill out. If you notice this, I'm playing Kyrian. Most of the keys this uh, season, I've been, I've been a uh, night fae. I don't know, just playing around. So yeah, we had to stop attacking just because if you kill one, the other one enrages. So it's good to try and kill them around the same time. So I see they're about to die. So I tried to get them together, but forgot my own little rule there and <laughs> almost just done goofed. So I try and put both these guys right here and then I kind of just bring them back out. Again, as always, someone needs to fear the bat so it doesn't hypnotize somebody. Watching out for frontals, DPSing the shield to kick it. 
So with the Dark Claws, it is shadow damage. So AMS can make it so he heals significantly less. Or, you know, Icebound Fortitude or really anything that's a damage reduction will make it so he heals back less. But because it's 100% shadow damage, you can AMS it or you could probably even AMZ it but it wouldn't be as helpful, but you could. I'm yawning. I'm yawning. It's 2 a.m. By this time, I'm usually just like going to sleep. I've been so wiped lately. So I haven't been um, commentating very many keys because of just how tired I've been. It's been kind of insane. All right. This is the one downside to Kyrian is you keep pressing the damn stewardess. You keep accidentally talking to him. I wish that didn't happen. But you know, it's the world we live in. 2022, we have COVID and the goddamn stewardess that keeps asking if I want any help with anything. Alright, so another weird glitch, you see how that guy just left me and started aggroing somebody else? There is a glitch through here where he'll automatically just like snap aggro to somebody else. So when you're tanking these, be very aware of that if you chain pull them together. Some tanks don't chain pull those together, but I just think it's very, very inefficient to not chain them together. This always confuses me when I start out, like where I have to go. Alright, so storming is going to be balls right here, but and camera angles are balls right here. Basically when that fire flamethrower thing goes out, you just got to sidestep it. it. It gets cast on you, so you need to be facing away from everybody for it. Should not have uh, gripped that one, but you know, whatever. Now we in it. Shackle comes up soon. Of course, in Grim Rail Depot, I mean, anytime, you gotta watch out for those sleep clouds, especially in these tight corridors. You see it coming towards me, and I'm like, <laughs> see, it's right there. It's like my baby toe is almost in it. Oh, gonna get out of there. So, always be looking. Always be looking for that. If you didn't know, Lichborn will knock you out of the sleep puddle, so. Might be a good idea to hold on to Lichborn if you think you're gonna get slept, because you're, you're not watching your feet. That accidentally got pulled. Just trying to make the best use of it. So AoE stuns and are going to be great here. Any kind of stuns for, um, uh, what is the cast called? It's not this flamethrower one, but it's the other one. The fire totem or sigil or whatever it is that it's like an AOE fire on the ground. That's the one you want to have uh, interrupted all the time. Yeah, this is, this is very prone to happen where just everything comes at you and it's, it doesn't care. So just be uh, very aware of that. Watch out for sleep cloud. Yeah, too bad all this stuff's almost dead. It's about to be uh, shackle o'clock 30. I think he used it on like one mob. I had the shackle just kind of like desync the whole time. It was mostly like not in the beginning of a pull, but near the end. Yeah, 
Although I have my graphics turned down quite a bit, so I'm actually afraid I might not see everything here. I'm not sure. But so, yeah, just if you're tanking, stay away from everybody. That one, that AoE reticle right there. It puts fire on the ground. I see you can barely see it on mine. But that's uh, AoE fire that is not good. And then boss. Camera angles are just 100% garbanzo beans. So, this guy actually does, you know, he does schmack right here, so you gotta be careful. Definitely don't do anything weird here. Um, those grenades, people need to be spread out because it's like, like I said, it schmacks. If you uh, saw Stranger Things, you know, kudos to you. It is a good show. I was like one of my favorite parts of like the newer seasons. Like, and she got schmacked. <laughs> that Argyle guy was. I loved him. He was so funny. Alright, so there's no like great way to do this. I normally tank by the pillar or by the cannon right here so people can pick it up and go right into the cannon. Um, normally I like to be where I'm not just being constantly blown around. Freaking Windy City over here. Isn't that Chicago? Isn't that the Windy City? I don't know. I'm on the west coast near Seattle, so <laughs> maybe Chicago's the Windy City. I think I remember them saying that on uh, I Love You Man, if you ever saw that movie. Anyways, so <laughs> you need to pick up the mortars here and then get inside the cannon and shoot him. Shoot the shoot the big turret because that's the boss and he will not phase down until you take that out. So if you're ranged and you have some downtime, you can hit the cannon. It just doesn't do much. You got to hit it with the mortar to really do damage. Oh yeah, every now and then he'll just do something great like that where he just floods the whole section with fire. Gotta watch out. And he'll fixate somebody and then just like suppress fire on them. So they just have to LOS him. Like where the skull icon is, how he's behind the pillar. Alright, so once he's phased, he's down. And you just kill him. It's very fast. And he does the same moveset that he did in the beginning. Be somewhat spread for those cluster grenades. That's really it. Okay. And boom. So in this little spot, fire likes to go everywhere. You can just... If you're a DK, you can just do AMS and be fine here. I actually got a little nervous. And I was like, wait, I'm a DK. I don't care about this. And my team was like, oh my god, you're so dead. I like, nope. I'm a DK, bro. I don't care about that nonsense. Okay, so these are hard pulls, actually. That seer is a big deal. He will see your future of wipes if you... uh too much with him. Those storm shields you need to uh, kick for show. Oh, sleep cloud, sleep cloud. It's coming into melee. That's not good. Just gonna be sidestepping it. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't want it. So, if there's any, if there's any chance of this key, like ripping you, it's gonna be this platform. 
there's any part of the key that's going to like deplete and like have people leave out of frustration it's this platform so I forgot to grab the last two guys so whoopsie on my fault but if you look at the overall damage your boy Grixon blood decay doing some doing some work 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 what does she say in that that Rihanna song? Do you guys know? I don't know. Okay, so, yep. There's some crackling lightning stuff that goes on the ground. You just gotta kind of tank them out of it, just so your melee can still. And it can still hit stuff. <laughs> They can still hit stuff. Otherwise, they're going to complain, especially if you're in Discord with them, like Bragone did. He's like, you want to take them out of that? I was like, no. Now you should, though. Okay. Now it's boss. He comes down and does damage just to give you that big dick energy, you know? He just comes down and it's like... <laughs> Alright, so this boss, you gotta watch out for a freezing trap. Um, Death's Advance, I think, can break it. I know Tiger's Lust can break it. Like, <laughs> like you can, if you're a monk, you can do Tiger's Lust and then run over the traps and break them so you, like, you don't get stuck in them. And I believe Death's Advance can as well, but I haven't tried it. So you gotta watch out for traps, you gotta watch out for electric zones, and then the spear that just happened, it's a frontal, and it goes on like a random player. You just gotta sidestep that. There's me, I mean, I did better with the opi wheel right there. Anyways, I'm rooted, so I ended up doing AMS. Like, I was like, oh crap, I'm screwed. So I did AMS, so I wouldn't take a bunch of electrical damage. Oh, they added these big swirlies. These weren't here like a week ago. Bragone, floor POV. It's hard to uh, keep up breath uptime if you're uh, face down. Okay, and that's pretty much the fight. Not really a problem. There's the triple upgrade. Alright. Appreciate you guys being here. Um, standard YouTube stuff. If you like the video, please like it. Comment. Give me some traction. This season has not been kind to my video so far. But then again, I have not been putting out content like at all. I'm hoping to change that. I have a discord if you want to join it I'll put a link down below and uh, you'll just be thrown into like you all you'll see is introductions and YouTube videos text channels in introductions just say hi or something about yourself whatever and then I'll uh, manually add you as a member once you're a member you'll see all of the voice channels and members channels like general meme off topic Weak Aura stuff, if you want to see my UI slash Weak Aura stuff, that's all there. Um, Linux specific stuff, I am a Linux user, so, you know, any of that stuff. Alright, I will see you guys later. Thanks for stopping by.